A nation rich in culture and natural beauty, South Africa enjoys an illustrious tourism sector. The industry has been identified as one of the six major growth pillars in South Africa's new economic plan. And for good reason. Tourism has huge potential to create jobs and alleviate poverty in the most rural parts of the country. But getting foreigners to visit these remote areas over the well-established tourist destinations presents a great challenge. If the sector hopes to expand, an integrated approach is critical. Rural tourism is becoming crucial in building the tourism industry in South Africa. Uh, tourism continues to be the fastest growing sector of our economy. Uh, and although millions of tourists come here every year, they visit Cape Town, wonderful destination, Table Mountain, Waterfront. Some people go to Durban, some go to the Kruger National Park and to our other national parks. But uh, there are so many undiscovered jewels in our country. Our strategy, uh, if I uh, have to put it uh, plainly without government speak and technical jargon, it's better coordination between the three spheres of government, but very importantly working with communities, identify projects and provide funding over the short term, but to ensure that it is sustainable over the longer term. Many rural areas in South Africa are plagued with a myriad of developmental issues. Poor infrastructure, poverty and poor education are just some of them. In many cases, tourism presents the only viable option for economic empowerment. It's very important that we take a, a holistic uh, look and a holistic approach. Take uh, this area where we are today, Wuppertal. We know that if people come here, obviously they would like to stay over. There's a little bakery shop here. There's a little factory uh, uh, making local shoes. Uh, Felskuna, the local people call it. So all of, of those will benefit. But of course, uh, training people here to be tour guides, um, all of that will contribute to the economic value here. Baron Salamo is a businessman from Wuppertal. His rooibos tea and body product factory employs 14 people. With the government planning to spend 20 million rands to improve infrastructure and build accommodation facilities, he hopes a boost in tourism will allow him to expand his business. Oh, what happened to Wuppertal is really the dreams that we have for so many years because uh, I think in Wuppertal uh, to develop the tourism, I think that is the only economic possibility for us. It was so very remote because, as you can see, Wuppertal is situated on a land of 30, 36,000 hectares of land. Only 7% is suitable for agricultural land, so it's, you can't depend on the agriculture for economic survival. So we've got our people, we've got the environment, everything is here. It's just to develop it, and I think that will be the excitement for the future of Wuppertal. And deep in our heart, we feel this rebos is part of our heritage. So it's not just like a, a product. I came from a family of, of 12. I mean, we a lot of small kids, and my mother used this rebos as a substitute for mother's milk. So it runs in our veins. So it's, I mean, it's part of our, 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 our generations. So, um, and I mean, we would love to expand this, uh, uh, this rebos. Um, especially to add value to our product locally so that more and more of our local people can get uh, work and uh, that we can add value to our product here. If you could do the packaging here, at this stage we only do the raw material. So uh, I'm looking forward to the day that we can do our own thing, that we can proud and independent again and decide our own thing and to be free. South Africa's tourism sector cannot rely only on foreigners to generate revenue. The department has a robust policy to increase domestic tourism where South Africans are encouraged to travel within their own country. To support our uh, domestic uh, strategy, we have decided to uh, launch a, a new campaign, a new domestic campaign. Uh, the essence of the campaign really is firstly to make sure that we encourage South Africans to learn to travel as tourists in their own country. The second part of it is to inculcate a culture of travel within South Africans. The third component is we, we know all about uh, the various uh, establishments that are established and are in the international itineraries. But can we go out there and find new products and services that we can add into these new itineraries? And the, the fourth component of this is to make sure that as we travel South Africa, we involve all provinces, we involve the rural areas, we make sure that uh, uh, our own people are the ones who go and, and encourage each other. It will be on the social networks, it will be on the, in all media platforms, bragging and telling people that we have in our own province established the must-visit kind of uh, tourist attractions. Tourism in South Africa has a bright future. Despite the global economic crisis, tourist arrivals in 2011 increased by 3.3%. A remarkable result considering the spike in tourist arrivals during the 2010 FIFA World Cup. 
with substantial investment in the sector. South Africa's tourism industry has huge potential as a vehicle for sustainable rural development.